All right, kiddos, it's your turn yet again, and we're going to teach you a new song. The name of this song is Fishers of Men. And this song came about when Jesus was walking on the shore, and he told the fishermen there to stop fishing for fish, come with me, and I'll teach you how to fish for people. And so Miss Kathy is going to lead us, and Miss Karen is going to show you some signs and some hand motions. One, two, three, four. Well, good evening, kids. So glad you joined us again. I want to share a couple things with you uh, this evening. I have with me, you all know what that is? It's a license plate. I was out in my shop working and uh, cleaning some stuff up, and uh, I just came across this old license plate. Now, this is to a truck that I don't own anymore, and so if you looked it up, it would be to a truck that somebody else owns I would guess I'm not sure what happens when you sell a truck and take your license plates off but the purpose of a license plate is first of all so that people know that we identify with that vehicle in other words if a policeman was um, following you and wondered who was driving that truck or if there was an issue with a vehicle that was stolen they could use the license plate to identify the fact that you own that truck. Now, you identify with that truck with this license plate. In the same way, 
having this license plate and having it on my truck and paying my yearly renewal and having my truck inspected every year, this gives me certain rights as a driver. It gives me certain rights with my truck that I'm allowed to drive it on highways, that as long as I keep the insurance up and as long as I keep the inspections up and as long as I renew my registration every year, that I'm allowed to drive on the road with this vehicle. And as I was looking at this and thinking about the old truck that I used to have that went with this, it reminded me of a couple of scriptures I want to share with you. Turn with me in your Bibles to Ephesians 2.10. Ephesians 2.10. Ephesians 2.10. For we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. And so the Bible tells us that when we became Christians, when you said yes to Jesus, you identify with him now. Just like this license plate identified me with this truck, the day that you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you now identify with Jesus. Jesus lives in your heart and you identify with him. And so just like that license plate identifies me and my vehicle, you are identified now with Jesus. And the Bible tells us that he gave you the right before the foundation of the world. And so Jesus knew you before he created the world. And the second scripture I want you to look at with me is John 1.12. John 1.12. John 1.12. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Let me read that again. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. What that means, boys and girls, is that the day that you became a Christian, the day that you said yes to Jesus and asked him into your heart, you became an heir. You became a child of God. You are guaranteed a place someday in heaven. The day that you accepted Jesus. And just like I said a minute ago, this license plate, just like this license plate gives me certain rights, you accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior gives you rights. And the right to become a child of God. You are a child of God. So no matter what goes on in your life, no matter what happens, no matter what you're going through, you are a child of God and he has his arms wrapped around you he is guiding you. He is protecting you. He is providing for you. You just need to trust in him. And so because you're a Christian, because you accepted Jesus into your heart, you have the right to be a child of God. Now, if you haven't got to that place in your life where you said yes to Jesus, I ask you right now to pray with me. Jesus, I ask you into my heart. I ask you to be my Lord and Savior. Boys and girls, if you prayed that simple prayer, you are now a born-again Christian. You are now a child of God, and you have rights, and you belong to him. God bless you.